We're taking a look at example six. A baseball is hit three feet above ground level at 100 feet per second and at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the ground, as, as you can see in the figure. Uh, find the maximum height reached by the baseball. Will it clear a 10 foot high fence located 300 feet from home plate? So we want to consider this graphically first before we look at it analytically using calculus. So we can extract from the problem statement that the initial conditions are the initial height is three feet, the initial speed is 100 feet per second, and the value for theta is 45 degrees. And because height is measured in feet, the gravitational constant will have a value of 32 feet per second squared. When we substitute these values into our position vector for an object in projectile motion, which you see at the very top of the screen, and then simplify using trigonometry. This is what we will have. We will have the horizontal component of the baseball's position, meaning how far it has traveled horizontally from home plate will be given by 50 times square root of 2t. And the vertical component of the baseball's component, meaning the height of the ball above the field, will be given by 3 plus 50 times square root of 2t minus 16t squared. Now, of course, you can represent the vector valued function also as a set of parametric equations, and that's what I have done with Desmos. So now you can see that uh, we're going to start at time is equal to zero, and you can see the position of the ball here, uh, and it is three feet above the ground. So this is where the baseball player is standing. It's three feet above the ground when the ball is hit by the baseball player's bat. And of course, it's going to fly off into the air at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the ground. And let's look at this in slow motion. So this is going to be the path followed by the baseball. You can see that it's rising, rising, rising. As it is rising, it is also traveling horizontally away from home plate. It's still rising, still rising. It's already traveled a horizontal distance of 100 feet, and it's reached a height of about 70 feet above the field, still rising, still rising, still rising, and maybe around here it reaches a maximum height after it's traveled a horizontal distance of about 150 feet, and then it starts to fall but it's still above the field, so it's still moving horizontally. And here it reaches 300 feet away from home plate. At that point in time, has it, it, it has traveled 300 feet away from home plate. The question is, will it clear a 10 foot high fence that's 300 feet from home plate. Well, what we can do is we can go ahead and graph the horizontal line, y is equal to 10. So you can see that the ball, when it is 300 feet from home plate, is above the horizontal line, y is equal to 10, which means it will go over the fence. Uh, it will go over the fence. And it'll, it'll go over the fence and it will go a little bit further and it will land on the ground outside of the fence. So this is the path that was traveled by the baseball. And you can see that uh, it, has a, it reaches a maximum height, something like uh, maybe like 82 feet or so. Uh, and we want to find that maximum height, and we want to verify that it is about 82 feet. And the question whether it will clear the fence, the answer is yes, as we saw graphically, and we want to verify that analytically. In this problem, the problem is not asking you to find the range of the baseball, but if it were, what does the range mean? It means how far the ball travels horizontally when it lands on the ground. So that's what it means. And to find that, you're going to have to set the y component of the, baseball posi the baseball's position equal to zero, because when y is equal to zero, that means the ball would be on the ground. You're going to have to find the corresponding time for which the y coordinate of the baseball's position is zero. 
And then once you have that time, you're going to take that into your horizontal component of the vector valued function and evaluate the horizontal component at the time at which the height will be zero. And that would tell you how far the ball would have traveled horizontally by the time it hits the ground. That would give you the range. If the problem were asking you for the range, that's how you would do it. One of your homework assignments tonight will, allow, will ask you to do that. But in this problem, we want to find the maximum height and we want to uh, verify analytically that the ball will clear the fence. So how would you find the maximum height? You have to look at the vertical component. You have to look at the vertical component of the uh, position vector, and you want to find the maximum value of the vertical component. You want to find the maximum value of the vertical component. In other words, what is the maximum value of that vertical component of the position vector? In other words, what is a relative maximum of the function of the real value function that gives you the vertical component of the position vector. So we'll take a look at that in our lesson. 